First question out of the blocks, Lord Harrah has asked, what it's what is it like um, seeing a bad teacher teach? Now, to be honest, firstly, I don't actually watch that many other teachers teach um, as much as I should be because it's good professional development. Um, but the times that I have seen them teach, um, it's been more more so the younger ones or the the fresh ones and I consider my myself a fresh one <laughs> two years out um, but like the biggest one has been behavior management no control over the class forgetting things um, not sticking to the program not sticking to the plan of the of, of the day's lesson um, and things like that um, as well as just um, I don't know being contradicting um, uh, and and yeah, just not f going with the flow, just a bad flow or they get stuck or they didn't plan it properly. Like me, I have um, the art of winging it. Now, one teacher one day told me that that was a bad thing and he really hated how I winged things sometimes. Um, but now I, when I do wing it, I do a really good job. And people see that, people have watched me do that and they're like, dude, you're killing it. You're doing well, you know. I've had other teachers come into my classroom and they say, I really, I'm going to take a lot out of this lesson. And I'm just like, what? Really? Me? You know, like, like so this early in the career, I'm like pinching myself. I'm like, this person's like a five, six, seven year teacher and they're telling me that they're taking this out of my classroom and implementing it into theirs, you know. And on the other other end, I do need to see more professional teachers, like more like long term, 10, 20 year teachers. And I've done it through uni and I've seen some great ones, but I've also seen some ones that I didn't really agree with. And, you know, you learn from them and uh, make it your own, because at the end of the day, when you become a teacher, it's your call or whatever you want to do, because you've got the degree. And if you're doing a good job, the school will notice. And if you're not doing a good job, then it's up to you to adapt. And that comes, that goes for everything. It doesn't even just exclude teaching. You know what I mean? I hear Nezamaya says, Hey Sev, uh, what, ha uh, what, is, what is my most embarrassing moment? Um, one I can think of off the top of my head was when I played footy. Like when I was 15, 16, I marked the ball inside the goal square and I hit the post when I took the shot. That was pretty embarrassing. Um, yeah, that's like the first one that comes to mind and generally that's always the winner. Another time is when I was in a meeting um, in a job that I used to have before teaching and like it, it, was, it wasn't even a job, I was like an intern at like a really like proper like place. It was like a mining company and like all the executives and staff we were meeting and all of a sudden um, my phone went off and I swear that it was on silent and I was just like, it was like in my, in my shell. I was like, dear Lord, that is super embarrassing. Um, but other than that, yeah, those are the, the two instant moments that come to mind. Um, yeah, really stuffing up in footy and, um, um, and yeah, at work, so. Thanks for the question. Hey, Lord Harry comes up with a question about Gary V. Now, for the people that do subscribe to my YouTube channel and have watched a lot of my YouTube stuff, will know that uh, Gary V is the guy that started it all for me. That's the guy that kind of lifted this um, pilot light inside me and made it into a bonfire. Um, and hopefully one day I can meet him and talk to him. But um, so what happened was earlier this year, a friend of mine, um, actually last year he suggested you should go watch check out Gary Vee, it's super inspirational and at that time I was like I wasn't into podcasts, I wasn't into watching YouTube out of you know I was busy and then early this year I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna give this a go I've, I've turned a podcast on and ever since then I was hooked um, and I think the biggest influence from him the biggest thing that resonates with me and him is we're both Russian immigrants um, he's got 20 uh, 25 years on me. Um, I think I did the maths right. Nah, he's got about damn, a way off. He's got about 16 years on me. Yeah, because he's turning 44 soon. Um, 16 years on me, and uh, but the, the fact that we're both Russian immigrants, um, the fact that he just speaks from his own experience, the fact that he says things in a Russian way but in English, um, I'm kind of the same, um, but I'm also like, 
the biggest thing is he said to me, or said to in his YouTube thing, um, speak from your own experience. Don't give people advice off of things you've read, off of things you've heard, off of things you've been taught. Speak from things from your experience. So if you want advice ever from anything or whatever, I will always be like, I'll tell you a story of how it relates to how I went about it. And I'm never gonna tell you, you should do it like this. But that's up to you. You decide to do it because your story is different. Your, your like kind of pathway is totally different to mine, as is everybody else's. So my aim is to just share my story and share how I did it. And then if one or two people from this um, online thing see it and be like, oh, I'm going to take it on and I'm going to maybe tinker a little bit to my circumstances and then hopefully succeed. And if they fail, um, they learn from it and then go again because that's what I'm doing. Well, that's what I've done. So yeah, Gary V. Ah. Uh, you know, I've no, no, like complete transparency. I've got another book in my room um, of his. Um, and he's also the main, main reason I started to go more on TikTok um, because um, he just, he's, he's saying all the attention's heading that way. All the attention's heading that way. I had no interest in it at all before. And then he said, TikTok's the new Instagram. Instagram, when it first started, everyone's treating it like TikTok is treating it right now. Everyone's like, it's for kids. No, it's not. It's an app available for everyone. Kids were the first on there. So I'm re resonating with you guys already. So, you know, and it's awesome. I love it. It's great. We get to hang out. There's 25 people online listening to me, tuning in at 6 p.m. Like, I'd love to hear that a month from now, everyone's like, oh, 6 p.m. Steph's on. That's awesome. You know, like, I love to be able to hear that, you know? So yeah, great question. Hey, the Brooks. Thank you for your question. So Nathan asks me, what is uh, my favorite achievement I've done so far in my life? Um, passing uni was a pretty massive achievement. Um, getting into the waffle and playing league football was um, quite an achievement. Um, Moving out of my mum's investment house was an achievement because it was so comfortable there and it was such a gravy train, but then moving out and, and biting the bullet, that was a big achievement for me. Um, a few massive realizations about who I am and what, what I do and how I think and what the part type of person I have become, that self-awareness, that's been a massive achievement, you know, like being more open-minded and accepting things and. And, and taking on criticism a lot better. That's been a, another big achievement, but, oh man, there's so many, like I can think of so many things and and hey, um, there's so many more to come because I'm only 28, but great question, buddy. Thank you. So what is the meaning of life? My personal opinion on the meaning of life is you're born and you start learning immediately. You start to, you know, learn yourself, learn your senses, you know, you go through your youth and then um, you go through a lot of failures and a lot of, um, you know, lessons, life lessons. And then um, you start to find yourself, you build a personality and you, you hopefully find your calling. So that's where the kind of life lesson begins. My opinion on that, my belief is the, the meaning of life is for you to keep searching keep searching what your what your true passion is and then do that passion and then if you do that passion and you don't like it after two years restart go again find your true passion and if you feel like you've found your true passion and you're good at it and you enjoy it um, the money will come but your passion is your passion you got to chase that no matter what um, and then on that, you have to teach other people. Teach other people. Um, teach other people to be better than yourself. And um, the most, the, my favorite example is when you have children. Now, I'm not a father yet, but uh, one day I'd love to be able to um, raise my kids and um, make them, um, teach them how to be a better version of me in themselves. And then obviously they'll become their own person. 
and then that flows on and on and on. Um, you know, grandkids and so on. That's the meaning of life. Um, yeah, that's a that's that's literally. I've, I've thought about that answer so many times. I remember like we were, we were joking around about it like five or so years ago, and I I would be like, I don't know what the meaning of life is. Like forty two. <laughs> I think that's like a meme or something, but. Yeah, that's my meaning of life. That's my belief. Improving yourself, finding your passion, and then teaching your kids and helping other people um, bring them up with you. So yeah, and here I am. I'm chasing my passion. I love my passion. Um, I'm pretty stoked with what I'm doing now. So yeah. 101 Cam Start says, what do you need to grow? Um, if you're talking about plants, you need fertilizer, you need some sunlight and some water at the end and also some soil, you know. Um, but as a human being, what do you need to grow? There are a few things that come to mind. You need to be open-minded. Um, you need to be able to learn how to lose and you need to accept failure and learn from that. Um, that's how you grow. Um, and also making sure you're moving forward. Even if you fail, you have to keep going. That. I feel like failure is an advantage because then you know what not to do and then you just go again. But like, I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, what is the def definition of insanity? And it's and that's uh, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So if you do the same thing over and over, you haven't learned, especially if you're failing, you know. Um, adapting, you know, if you can adapt to something, you're going to grow um, even better. So TikTok's a good, good example. If you're making TikToks and you want to become famous and it's not working for you and you've made 100, 200, 300 videos, do something different. Adapt. Are you being yourself? If you're not being yourself and you're just trying to copy everybody else, that's probably it. You know, I'm guilty. I did. I just did whatever was funny, whatever was trending. And then all I had to do was just change it into me, make tall jokes and teacher jokes. And here we are. So adapt. And also accountability. You need to keep yourself accountable because if you don't set yourself a due date or a, a timeline and you don't stick to it, then you'll never get there because you're not accountable. Okay. Great question. I love that book. And um, again, Harry, Harry, Lord Harra from New Zealand has asked me, what is the quote that most, um, most admire to and live by? Um, there's two that come to mind. The first one is live like lightning. And my grandpa told me that. So live like, you know, just live quickly. Um, you're not in a rush anywhere, but live like instant, in the moment, right? That's what he means. It's a, it's a Russian saying. So if you live like lightning, that means you are, it's happened, it's done, moving on to the next life, lightning moment. Um, doesn't matter what's happened before. Doesn't matter what's going to happen later. It hasn't happened yet. Live right now in the moment. And then the second um, quote um, I've, I've always loved is, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And that's by um, probably the greatest hockey player of all time, Wayne Gretzky. Shout outs to Wayne. How you going, mate? Um, yeah, that that hits me. That hits me in a good spot where I'm like, damn. And you know, the, the word shots is in there and it resonates with me with photography. You know, just take the shot. If you don't think it's good, just take it anyway. I've taken so many photos that I didn't think would turn out good and I looked at them on the computer later. I was like, wow, these are good photos. I'm glad I took that shot. And then when it comes to life, um, you want to ask that cute girl that you had a crush on forever. You got to do it, man. Got to do it. You like that cute boy over there and uh, you're not sure and you want to talk to him, do it. Because it's better than not. Because if you never do it, then you're going to have regret. You don't want regret. And then when it comes to getting a job, you always ask. It doesn't hurt asking. If you fear rejection, hey, at least you took the shot. Because hey, footballers, um, soccer players, excuse me, um, hockey players, basketball players, anyone has taken, anyone in sports takes a shot, every, like all the time. And they miss most of the time. And they keep trying and trying and trying again until they score. And then they keep doing it and they keep doing it. Sport's a great analogy for this one because if you keep shooting, you'll eventually hit it, right? Same with TikTok. You want to become famous on TikTok? 
you keep you keep posting videos and not caring about what other people think okay because there are people out there that will love your videos but they cannot see your videos if you don't post them you need to shoot your shot okay so great question harry yet again hey guys we're gonna go for the five minute power hour session ask away here we go five minutes starts now i don't have a time i have no, no idea i'm just gonna keep going until i i give up favorite movie and tv show favorite movie is shawshank redemption favorite tv show was probably suits or prison break love that love that thank you um harry um, have you ever been asked to be a window cleaner? Um, I was a window manufacturer once, so kind of the same. Um, Cam says, what's my age? I'm 28. Uh, Demon Keita says, uh, favorite color? Green. Um, Harvey Specter is the goat. Yep, that's Harvey Specter right there on, a, on my wall as a poster. Um, do you like prawn crackers? Yes, I do. Uh, what is your reaction to getting famous, says Bailey Brennan. I, I don't, I never had a reaction, I'm not famous. What's the shortest girlfriend you've had? Oh, probably like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, Thank you, Peaches, for that question. Um, Kerry's Island, first thing you do as a vampire, probably fly. Probably turn into a bat and fly. Business venture for next year, says user 3374, uh, and so on, says... Uh, um, yeah, what's my business venture? I want to be a photographer, full-time photographer, videographer, and content creator for businesses. Funniest joke you know off the top of your head? Ah, uh, dear. Stumped me there. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip that one. It's, it's too, too, much, too many things going through my head right now. Uh, I get bullied at school, but I love school. Okay, Molly, I hope yeah, that you can push through it. Just ignore the bullies. Have you ever been bullied because of your height? Yes, I have. And those people are nobodies now. Um, do you ever think of getting back to sport? I do. I honestly do, Bailey. I do think about it every now and then and uh, um, how I can go about it. But at the same time, I much prefer taking photos. Um, what state? I live in WA. Um, guys, these are good questions. And we're, we're getting more people online. Maybe we should like do this later on in, at time. But... Some of you guys will be going to sleep. Do you like being a teacher or just prefer photography? Um, I, if, if In a perfect world, I'd be able to do both, um, but I need to know next year. By the end of next year, I'll know which one I prefer. Um, that's why I'm, I'm doing it Haluminati um, to see. Uh, Harry, will you come to Northland in New Zealand and take photos? Uh, maybe, hopefully, one day. Um, Jackson34609 says, what advice would you give me? Uh, Jackson, I would be, the, the advice that I would give you is you're going to die one day. Do everything and everything you want to do and try to chase happiness instead of money. That's the advice I'd give you. Um, do you need doors altered sometimes? Do you need doors altered sometimes? Uh, no, but uh, when I build my house, I will have everything of size. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Um, best word advice for yourself five years ago keep yourself accountable um, and just get started just do it and commit to doing it and make sure that you um, take on all the advice that you can and make it make it your own um, have you is any of your family tall like you yes my mum's a giant and my um, uh, father is a giant too Camness doesn't help, one, two, three. Have you ever been on holiday? If so, what was your favorite holiday place? My favorite holiday place is my birth um, black, birthplace, um, Tokma, which is in Kyrgyzstan, and the mountains of Russia. Love it. Um, okay, keep it going, keep it going. How long have you had TikTok? I've had TikTok since April, April 2019, I think. Just have, a, just go back to the, my first video and see what day that I posted that. Um, also, I only watch TikTok for you funniest videos. That's amazing. Thank you so much, the Illuminati 14. That's incredible. Someone's using this app just because of me. That's amazing. Kevin says, oh, here we go, Scoopin. Which is, which of your younger selves would you want to hang out with? I would hang out with my um, uh, fresh out of high school self straight up and just give them the lowdown of what will happen one day and to not change too many things, but be more responsible 
and save more than you spend. That's what I would tell my um, 17, 18 year old self. Ever broken a bone? Yes. My wrist and my ankle, uh, the bones in my ankle and in my thumb. Footy and skateboarding. What is my dream job? Uh, my dream job would be to travel around the world talking to um, high school students about how to chase their happiness. Um, tuning into Sev's 6 p.m. sesh, yes. How you going, user? Uh, hola, como estas? Is that like Spanish? Si, yas, yas queen, tequila. Um, does the tail gene run through your fam? Does a tall gene, <laughs> does a, I, I swear I said tail. Does a tall gene run through your fam? Yes, it does. Um, my, my, step, uh, my great grandpa was seven foot as well. Um, 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 the big Sev 6 p.m. show. You guys love it. You guys love it. All right. I think that's it. We've got 40 people online. Mm-hmm.